Hi, my name is Zion. Today I'll be making an origami flower. Um, this is how it's going to look like in the end. This is how it's going to look like in the end. This is the back stem. And this is the book where I got it from. It's authentic from Tokyo, Japan. Um, my uncle got this when he took a trip there for one of his friends' wedding and he got it for me as a gift when he saw this um whole place, this whole like table based on or like a forest made out of all origami. Um, so the page this is from is this. You can see some of the folds here already. Let me just show you. Some of the folds are already here. You could see that. And then you flip it on the next page and you can see the whole bait. The whole thing. Only this page. But then I know it's gonna look like how you're supposed to make that right away. Um this is just making the actual flower and there's another part in this that shows how to make the actual base, which I'm going to do it right now. Oh, and I forgot to say this, but my name is Zion. The name of this flower is called the flock. It's act, it's a, based on a real flower in the forest. I'm not sure if it's real though, but it looks pretty real in some pictures. Okay. So, make the leaf, whichever part you want the outside to be. Like since I'm doing printed paper, I'm making the printed part face upwards okay so first fold it really doesn't matter which side you use just to make it look even more better because of the print I have you, you do this so take this end this whole end do like a hot dog kind of fold. I'm not sure if this is a hot dog fold, but then that's what I like to call it. Oh, and one thing, you need a square C of paper. Remember to always crease it. If you already know how to do origami, then you're yeah, gonna have to say this. Now unfold, make a 90 degree angle, and then do the same thing. And then you see it still crease. I'm not sure if you could see it. You make it facing down, pointing towards you. Then fold this downwards like this also this is kind of like the bird base but then it's actually not I don't know if you know some origami birds like the flopping origami flopping queen Okay, so as long as you did this, it's going to look like a cross in the middle. So, you flip it over, make whole two corners, fold it, I mean, make it so it's like a diamond shape from your angle. Let me just fix it there. Okay, now, push 
in the middle, you see all the stuff is going to kind of rise up. Then take this flap, pull it up to each end. All folds must be exact for this one if you want it to be like the, the perfect flower you've always wanted. paper though nothing gonna nothing bad's gonna happen but yeah that's what I have to say if you make a mistake it's okay if like it's not exactly identical but then so repeat this like how I did in the back 90 degree angle close in the middle fold that up All these are going to be facing up and like oh, unfolding up. So, um, so flip over to the green side or any the solid color side if you have printed paper. And then you see where all the folds are intersecting to? Push that part and fold all the corners towards that like this. all four sides. It's okay if it's not exactly in the middle because then it's going to kind of make it easier for the next fold. Sorry for spooky fingers. Okay, so it's gonna look like this. Is that happened to paper? All of the print is gonna be covering all the green. Okay, so make it's gonna be like a square. Make it so it's like a diamond. Then, like how it did been previously, take this, fold it towards the other end, so it's like a triangle, like a diamond made into a triangle. Now repeat, take it from there, fold it like that, and twist it, then repeat. We do it just to make it very good, like so it's easy to fold. Flip it over, now do, now take both of those corners and make it so it has both of those other corners on the back, so it's facing me. Okay, so you see this part is going to be like all opening. Take, make sure it's on this part which is like not opening. Okay, then bunny ear fold like that. Make sure it's not where the 
flap opens. Okay, it's okay if you could flip it and um, turn it over a little bit as long as it's from the side it's not flapped open. Now repeat with all with the other side, not all sides. Okay, flatten this with your hands. So we'll see how the surface you're doing. Just flat it a little bit so it gets all pieces fold. Now, if you're really good in doing like making the folds opposite, then you should be good with this. Now, stuff your finger, unfold one of the flaps. Now you're gonna see a hole there. Take your finger, open that little flap all the way down as down as you can. Now the fold I made before, do that so it's going inward. If you can't do that, I know an easier way to do it. Unfold, and then unfold that, book fold, then fold towards the middle, make it easier. Then do the exact same thing I did with the other one, which makes it super easy. I got this out from another video I saw. Make sure none of them are get out of place. By out of place, I mean like it doesn't go like folding random pieces. Repeat with the other side. All folds you made previously. Okay, so you see it's gonna be like this. It's gonna open it. And you can see made even more book fold book folding areas. Flatten it all the way. Now open just that little fold you made like when you fold those corners. Now see this part that's flat, make sure it's facing like square towards you. Take this, push, pull, push. Pull, push, pull. So it's gonna be like the opposite of what you did, and then if you could see, it's gonna be like a little crack there. Make sure it's like that, and make sure each side has one, two, three, four um, flaps sticking out. Okay, fold it really good. Now, this part's kind of tricky. So take this, put your finger there, pull, then make it so it's facing, so it's going all the way into the middle. All the way into the middle. It's kind of like a bunny ear fold, but then a bit complicated. Because you're supposed to get down. Repeat with all sides. And you might need a book fold to get to the other two sides. This is how it's going to look like on both sides. I forgot to close. Okay, now you're going to, the way you're going to book fold is you see these two flaps there. Take, on one side, take them, unfold. You take these and unfold. It might be hard to smooth those sides, but then you might get the hang of it. Flatten it all the way. This part's gonna be even more harder because it's gonna be a lot of layers. Okay, so repeat the steps from the other previous side. Now you're gonna see that it's gonna be like that. Make sure it aligns exactly how it is from behind. 
So it's going to be exactly like that. Okay, you're going to see what I mean by like aligning with the other folds that I made. So by aligning with all the other folds, you see from all the other parts we did the same thing. Make sure it's like the whole shape forms exactly like the rhombus, I would say. Okay, now this part unfold every single little fold we just we made. But after this is gonna be really hard. Even more hard. I know this might take a while. It's okay if you can flatten it a little bit. Not all the way because then it's gonna be even more harder. Unfold, push up. Unfold. Close up. Keep it down with those other parts. Um, this part's gonna be really, really tricky. Take these two, push, flip, push, with all of those sides. Now, this part's gonna be really hard, so I'm gonna show you really closely. Take this, and you can see even two more flaps there. Take that, and so it's gonna look like this. Repeat on the other side, and flatten it all the way like this. You're gonna see it's gonna be like a diamond coming, a diamond rhombus coming out of its, coming out of its triangle. So. I see this part that's poking out, flip it, so it's facing towards you, and it's like a regular triangle, pointing away from you. Take this, take this end, fold it almost all the way down, but then like slightly up. I'll try to make all of these folds identical. At least just try. You can see from there, you can see some of the back part right there where I'm pinching. So I could, that's how you could do it more, more identical. Make sure it lines exactly there. Now, book. Wait, I forgot to tell you something. Take this part and fold it. Make sure it sticks like that. Take this flap. Fold it almost up like that. Okay, might even make a mistake. Okay, sorry to might go fast because I'm gonna run out of time. You can pause it all I mean. Okay, so align each petal like so, so, take, wait, oh, I forgot something, take this part, but the info so it's all facing all the way down, it's going to look like this, okay, I'm going to have to quickly do this, so don't blame me. Make sure only one flap comes out when you're doing this, so. Okay, now book fold. Repeat the same parts. Exactly like as before. 